Hi, my name is Steve Fulgoni, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Hurricane HTC 125 4-jaw wood turning chuck. The HTC 125 is one of the heaviest chucks on the market, but not a lot of people have heard about it. So today we're going to take a closer look. The HTC 125 is full 5 inches across, 5 inch jaw diameter, 5 inch chuck diameter, chrome plated, black anodized heavy duty jaws. Depending on where you purchase it, the Hurricane Chuck may come with no insert and then you purchase your own uh, insert from one of the many different thread sizes that are available including M33, one and a quarter by eight, one and a half by eight, and one inch by eight thread. Now when you open up the box, again this is the version that does not have the insert, here's what you'll see. Wood screw, two piece chuck wrench, Allen key, and of course the chuck with instruction sheet. <clears throat> Again, depending on how you purchase it, you may need to install the insert into the chuck. We'll talk more about that later, and let's go to a chuck where the insert has already been installed. I have installed the insert for my particular lathe here, which is a Powermatic 90, which has an inch and a half by eight threads per inch spindle nose. So, as you can see, Chuck is very, very substantial, comes in and weighs, comes in at about nine pounds in weight, <clears throat> has a completely enclosed back, so sawdust, chips, and, and debris does not get into the scroll gears. Right now, nine different jaw sets are available, and we're going to take a look, we're going to take a look at the heaviness of the jaws. First of all, let's take a look and compare it against one of the most popular chucks in the market today, and that is the Vicmark VM120. Fantastic chuck out of Australia, but take a look at the difference between the two. If you're looking for a heavy chuck, you have it in the HTC 125. Larger than the Vicmark VM120, but most importantly, take a look at the jaws. Much heavier, And let's take, some, let's take the jaws off on both chucks. Take a look at the mounting jaws between the two. Hurricane, Vicmark. Much heavier, larger surface area, larger surface area, wider, and longer. Take a look at the chuck jaws themselves. This is the standard two and a half inch dovetail jaws. Hurricane, Vic Mark of the M120. Let's get a closer look. Vic Mark, Hurricane. Let's put it back on the lathe. A lot of people have asked to see these. Uh, chucks in action with all the different jaw sets, so we're going to go through that now. Uh, we're mounting this on a Powermatic 90. Uh, Powermatic 90 lathe, originally a 12-inch lathe, converted into a 20-inch lathe, and we'll cover that in another video. But again, the HTC, the Hurricane Chucks, offer one and a half by eight spindle, which is becoming increasingly hard to find. So you can get that by, uh, by ordering a Hurricane Chuck. Now, <coughs> 
For those of you familiar with the uh, Powermatic 90, the spindle nose is so long that we need a ground spacer washer. Not a hardware store washer, but a ground spacer washer just to seat the chuck a little farther out so the chuck does bottoms out on the spindle rather than the spindle nose bottoming out inside the chuck. And uh, whether you have a Vicmark or other chucks on your Powermatic 90, something that you want to take a look at. Get the HTC 125 5 inch chuck with the standard jaws that normally ship with the chuck. <clears throat> we have the chuck jaws down in the almost closed position because remember for them to be perfectly round there's just a little bit of space maybe an eighth of an inch. So let's measure this up. So we can see here we have just about two and a quarter inches on the inside dovetail jaw for compression and in the closed position we have about two and seven eighths. Two and seven eighths for the chucks in the external mode for expansion. Now one of the really nice things about this five inch chuck is the jaw travel. So let's take a look at that. Okay, there is a locking pin back in here. There is a locking pin back in behind jaw number four, which prevents the jaws from opening and flying apart on you. Okay, so now we move out to four and three quarters in expansion mode and just about four inches in compression mode. Tighten it back down. Again, you have double square drive indexing indexing holes both on this side and on the back, which you can't see, but it has 24 different indexing positions. So let's close these down. And that's it. Those are the standard jaws. Let's show you um, what are probably the next most common set of jaws, which are the large dovetail jaws. The profile of the dovetail, as you can see here, it's a fairly shallow dovetail here, another dovetail here. <coughs> so we can use these in both. <coughs> compression and expansion mode. What I'm going to do, just because it's a little bit easier, is I'm going to take the chuck off of the lathe. Landed there with a thud, proving how heavy it is. going around really quickly. Eight screws. There's a groove on the back of the jaw face which aligns <coughs> with a mating groove in the mounting jaw and also you can see here this is the mechanism for keeping the jaw from flying off which is a little pin underneath jaw number four. Okay we'll go around and tighten them up. <clears throat> I 
back on the lady. Okay. Oh, forgot to show you the uh, the wood screw <coughs> is grabbed firmly in either the large dovetail jaws or the standard. Okay, so right here, the jaw uh, the uh, the wood screw extends out about at least an inch. And the large surface area provides a positive grip when you're using that mode to mount a piece of wood. One of the things that you look for in a quality of a chuck is the accuracy of the jaws. In other words, how, in other words, how true is this surface here running when the lathe is spinning? So I'm going to get a piece of paper here just so you can see. Turn this on and you can see how accurate and true this spins on my Powermatic. See if we can get a little closer. Okay, you can see no wobble, no run out. So that's it for the large jaws. Now let's go through some of the other jaws.